Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Every single time I cover the MTZ 762, I talk about it as the most underrated weapon in the entire game. And I still stand by it, man. Since the day one, I've really enjoyed this weapon has such a high damage profile with a great headshot multiplier, very easy recoil control. I just don't understand why it doesn't get used more personally. I get it. It's not as good as some of the metal weapons, but it definitely falls right below it. Honestly, if there was a top 10, it would definitely fall in the top 10 for me. For our first attachment, we have the Jack Glasses Optic. It's gonna give you fire aiming stability, normal reflex sight. I talk about this attachment a lot on the channel, and as always, you can use whatever you want, whether that be the iron sights or a different optic altogether. For rear grip, we have the MTZ factory. That's going to give you fire aiming stability, gun kick control and recoil control. What you're looking at right here is basically the entire purpose of the build. We're going to be controlling recoil. So here, what we got is 10% to the gun kick, 7% to the horizontal, along with vertical recoil control. On top of that, we got fire aiming stability as well, which is going to control the visual shake on the weapon. So one of the downsides of this weapon is the fact that the stock ammo capacity is going to be 20 rounds. So thankfully we do have a 30 round mag here and that's what I do like to run. As always, it is a preference. You can go with the 20 if you want to, but I seem to find the most success while using the 30 round mag. For a muzzle here, we have the Zem compensated flash hider to control vertical and horizontal recoil control along with fire aiming stability. Same reason we did choose the under barrel and when you pair this muzzle up with the rear grip, I apologize, not the underbarrel, the rear grip, when you pair those two up, there's virtually no shake on the weapon and the recoil is almost non-existent. So we're gonna get 5% to the horizontal recoil control, 15% to the vertical recoil control, and then that fire aiming stability. Like I said, when you pair it up, there's no shake on the weapon, super easy to use. And for our final attachment here, we have the MTZ Precision Blackthorn, which is going to increase your bullet velocity and damage range. As you can see, when we look at the statistics here, it's a 25% increase. The damage range may not look that good. It says 23.8 meters, but what I can tell you is that 58 headshot damage across the map shooting, you hit one headshot, it's going to be a three shot kill. This weapon kills super quick and it's very easy to be accurate with. Very good long range, medium range, and occasionally even close range option. As always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. And I highly recommend you copy this down and give it a try. I promise you, you're going to absolutely love this class setup and you guys are going to have an absolute blast. It might just become one of your favorite weapons of the game just like it is mine. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen that you guys can also copy down if you want. We're gonna jump into a gameplay to feature this weapon, the most underrated weapon, as I stated, in the entire game. So you guys watch it, get, get a grip of it, see what it's working with. And like I said, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this one. Let's get into it. MTZ762 is now in hand. I'd actually already recorded this video and quickly noticed I forgot to unmute my mic so i've been working on a no comment my no commentary channel trying to i want to say i'm trying to revive that channel basically i want to start posting on it but in order to do no commentary you have to mute your microphone you know what i mean and i will say the downside of that is occasionally you forget to unmute it so what i've been doing is i've been doing some warzone uh, that stuff's gonna be launching or maybe it already launched. I'm not hundred percent, but I'm doing some Warzone. People have been asking me to do Warzone for years. I mean years. And that's what I'm gonna do. It's because I don't really like talking through Warzone gameplays. It's very hard because you have to be super in focus all the time. Good shots, actually. Yeah, so basically I flipped the script a little bit. And I'm going to be doing some Warzone videos on my no commentary channel. I'm not like a Warzone demon, you know what I mean? I'm not someone that's going to drop 30 kills every game, but I will try for like 20s or just some wins. I don't know. Just have some fun with it and post some videos, you know? Nothing crazy. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just because people want to see how I play it, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to be doing the same, kind of the same thing. I'll do some class setups and stuff like that. I'll do like screenshots of class setups or where the hell did you come from Sandman? I, shit, he was there the whole time. I just had no information on it, no big deal. I did just choke kind of heavily though. You know the term Sentinel? I'm gonna say that that guy was definition Sentinel. I want him. I want him. Okay, he's rare. I've been playing around with covert sneakers and I've been vibing with it. Area. 
so covert sneakers, obviously dead silence is been pretty beneficial. I like running sneakers because of, oh, I knew I heard one. Thank you, teammate. I love you. Running sneakers helps you obviously regenerate tax sprint quicker and, or is that double time? I'm not even a hundred percent. Not even a hundred percent on the difference, but I just been, been running no uh, covert sneakers and tactical pads for so long that I've never really tried anything else. And why change what you're comfortable with? But Covert has been coming in handy. I feel like an S&D guy. I like having the silent feet. Oh, there's a sniper back there that I can't see that has a suppressor, and I want nothing to do with it. Good thing I turned around, huh? He actually trophy systemed himself. That's interesting. You can't wall bang it. I'm out of here. I don't want to take on that other guy. And I really want that. That's what I want. I'm going to hit this on the hill. Oh, yeah, that's not the hill. This guy running finally. It's the guy that trophy system himself. Okay, we're cruising now. We're very close to that swarm. We need two kills, I believe. I didn't even realize the score was like this. That's interesting. It feels a lot closer because I'm getting challenged so much. And our swarm's in. A little slower than I would have wanted, but it works. Okay. All right, we're them. Ooh, we're hanging out here. Um, hmm. Did see one. I got some nades here I can use to help the squad because it seems like a stalemate here. Or it's not. I could swarm it and try to get an advanced UAV out of it here. Thinking about it. This is stupid. That's not what I want to do. That's a sniper. I am seriously considering hitting my swarm here. Because there was a sniper. Oh, is that him? I think it's him. Yeah, there was a sniper. Don't know if you guys can see him. Maybe what I'll do with the editing is zoom in on that guy or something. I don't even know if I can push this way yet. It's scaring me. Normally, I'd be more aggressive, of course, but you can't be aggressive with a sniper. That doesn't work. Is he here? Yep, there he is. Don't even know if that was him. I've gotten like zero kills over the past couple hills. Oh, okay, sure. I got a DNA bomb. Let's do it. I didn't think I was that close to it. This hill is not the hill for the swarm, so we're not going to use that. Maybe I will, because they're all out. They're all outside the hill right now. I think I am going to use the swarm. Screw it. We'll be told as well.
that's how that's how it goes that's all how quick a game can change one swarm Guess what? I got no one. They shot down my VTOL as well? Well, that sucks. Sucks for them, I mean. This definitely uh, took a change because I... Uh, I mean, if you remember, I was at like 37. I mean, that's how quick a streak can change a game for you. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, this is 100% ending the game. I can tell you that much. Because I don't see a Dell way that they are even getting remotely close to this. I don't see it. Ninety one. We jumped from like thirty seven or thirty four to ninety one that quick. I'm thinking I might just start taking the swarm off because my God, I think I could make games last longer without the swarm. I don't know.